everyone. My name is Rupert Kaur and I'm a medical biotechnology graduate from Sunway University. So in my undergraduate study, I was exposed to many different subjects ranging from cell culture, biodiversity, bioinformatics, um, medical diagnostics, uh, medical biotechnology, and even genetics. So if you notice, these subjects are very different and diverse from one another. This has been very helpful during internship application and also job application, whereby um, the graduates do not have to limit themselves to a certain role or a certain skill because of what they have been exposed to before. So talking about internship, I did my internship at Cancer Research Malaysia, whereby I was involved in a breast cancer clinical trial study. So in the clinical trial study, uh, I was doing two major uh, work, which is one is the laboratory work, and the next one is the recruitment of participants for the clinical trial. So for the laboratory work, a lot of um, theory was um, put into practical use, whereby I had to analyze biological samples for um, cancer markers. And for the participant uh, recruitment, um, there was a lot of communication skills that was involved in order to speak to the participants, um, get their consent, also speak to doctors and nurses for any um, tests and mammograms that we were going to do. So um, that is a bit on the courses and the subjects and my internship. Uh, about some activities that I've taken during my undergraduate um, at Sunway University, I was very involved in uh, volunteer research work at the laboratory um, throughout my undergraduate study. I was also uh, actively, actively involved in Sunway student volunteers and Sunway student ambassadors. So if I could summarize all of them and put them in few words, that would be um, being able to volunteer there um, exposed me to many different um, experiences that would not have been uh, if not for volunteering. Some of them include not just um, you know the practic uh, theories that I've learned in lecture, there are also many other practical skills, for example, the communication, um, getting the message across, receiving good messages, and being able to communi communicate with many different types of people. So when we volunteer at um, events, we also talk to the organizers who are there, the participants who are there, and also the volunteers from Sunway University itself, whereby I made many good friends and uh, connections, uh, which has been very good uh, for me to build my knowledge and also know what type of um, um, new experiences that I can probably put myself into next time if I'm ever interested in. So um, that's some of the activities that I've been involved mostly in. And what am I doing right now? So right now I'm working in a corporate company and uh, it has been exciting. Uh, I have a lot to learn each day. Um, there's always something new to know and um, I'm very much focused on my work right now. However, if I do get an opportunity to um, uh, you know, do my postgraduate study, I would be more than um, glad to consider. But right now, my, expo uh, my main concern is, you know, to focus on my work. And if I can study more, just study more. Um, that would be my plan for now. And um, how being a scholar uh, impacts my decision making, I think it is really important to remember that being a scholar, you have, given, uh, you have been given this token and you are responsible, um, you know, to, to complete it and keep your word to the, pe to the people who have given this to you. So being a scholar really makes you responsible and um, for me, uh, if it puts you uh, ahead of everyone else to be responsible because you have this commitment um, in much earlier stage of your life. So uh, really, uh, I would put one word, it is responsibility uh, and commitment. Similarly, moving forward with your life, because you have been exposed to responsibility and commitment, they, this will come very handy, um, whether in your work life or your you know, personal life, and it will help you in many different difficult situations as well. And uh, if there's any tips uh, I can share with you for you to make uh, you know, your undergraduate life more easy or fun, is definitely having a good group of friends. So um, you must remember that your friends are going to be there for you academically, but they're also going to be there for you for mental support and emotional support. So uh, having a good group of friends is really going to help you get through um, that course of degree because they're going to, there are going to be many ups and downs and these people are going to be there for you and you are going to be there for them as well. So really finding that good group of friends and keeping each other supported at all times and being supportive is really important. Um, I hope this has been some sort of helpful uh, you know, to you scholars and potential scholars out there. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to let me know uh, or ask me and I will be more than glad to help you. I wish all, all of you all the best and uh, do take care. Thank you so much.